Okay, you've got some old vinyl that you want to um, transfer over to uh, CD or even tape. We'll talk about just the vinyl. It's a similar process for a tape recorder but, uh, or a tape deck. First of all, we need a, um, a turntable that works. There's a couple of things you want to do before you start using your turntable. Just check it out. Pull off the cartridge and um, just check your uh, stylus. Make sure that it's not damaged. Probably some of you have moved a few times and the uh, turntable's gone with you. Bumped around a bit. Uh, make sure that the cartridge and the stylus are in good condition, that the wires are all connected. And uh, once you're happy with that, replace it. Uh, if the components are worn or uh, damaged, see if you can source another one. They're still available. Next thing to do, there's uh, two types. There's motor-driven and belt-driven turntables. This particular one is belt-driven. Rotate the uh, plate around here. You can see the little caps in there. Just check the rubber, the rubber belt. Make sure it's not perished, broken, uh, it's in good condition. They're also still available from uh, uh, some uh, electronic component suppliers and uh, hi-fi outlets around the places. Okay, we're happy with the turntable. Now what we need to do is we need a means of connecting the turntable to the computer. As you can see, the turntable's got uh, RCA connectors, left and right channel, and also there's a third one there which is a ground wire. I'll talk about that in a minute. This is an adapter. It's from RCA to uh, 3.5 millimeter stereo or in one eighth stereo, what they call it in the um, in the US. So we just basically plug the RCA into the adapter <coughs> from the turntable. We're not connecting the ground wire in this configuration. And uh, that just basically plugs into your line input or microphone input on your uh, computer. So that's one way of getting it in there, but you really you'll find that the uh, uh, the turntable doesn't put out enough uh, audio just by going direct into the microphone port. Maybe yes, okay, but uh, into the line input, which is the preferred source of going into. Uh, it's not the gain's not enough. This here is a uh, an RIAA preamp. It uh, amplifies the signal by about 34 dB. Now you can see here there's a, a small screw. This is a metal metal case. So what I want to do is loosen the screw off and that little ground connection, I'll connect that to the case. That stops um, hum. When you, if you ever connected a system up and you get a lot of hum coming through, that's because the, the um, turntable's not bonded uh, to the uh, next device along the line. If you look on the back of your turntable, you may have a little earth symbol. I probably should put a little graphic of that, but uh, no, not this time. Okay, now we need to get from the uh, preamp into the computer. So we've got a uh, an RCA to um, 3.5 millimeter stereo plug that goes into the other side. This little preamp here runs on a 9 volt battery. Also runs on a 9 volt power supply. If you need to use, uh, want to use it off AC. The next method is probably a bit over the top. It's uh, using a mixer, and uh, the mixer will have a uh, a line input, tape in, turntable input, usually. So uh, that basically plugs straight in using the uh, RCA connectors coming from the turntable. Some turntables actually don't have a fly lead on them; they just have the sockets in the back. So you'll need to buy the the uh, fly lead to plug in. And uh, yeah, then uh, also too, we might need to connect the uh, bonding wire, the earth wire, to uh, some metal on the mixer as well. It depends. If you get the hum in, then that's what you need to do. It's amazing the difference it makes. Right now, the uh, once you're happy with your um, turntable and uh, and set up there, we need to uh, prepare the media and. Um, Depends what condition your records are in. Mine are pretty bad. So uh, I've still got a record cleaner that I've had for some time. Found in the drawer beside all the uh, all the um, albums. This one's just got a, got a, uh, a fine brush in the middle and then a uh, felt type material to pick up the dust. You used to uh, inject some uh, liquid into it to uh, pick up a bit more. So just give it give it a bit of a wipe, prepare a little bit before you're going to start recording it. And uh, 
Yeah, basically. Yeah, I see that too well, but there is a little bit of uh, dust that came off there. And we're happy with everything. It's all working okay. We just uh, queue up the uh, vinyl and um, lower it down the arm, and away we go.